A royal salute of 41 guns is fired by the Royal Horse Artillery in Hyde Park in honour of the birth of a daughter to their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Kent. The Duke and Duchess are here seen with their firstborn, Prince Edward. The baby princess comes as a Christmas present to the Empire and no one was more delighted than Queen Mary who was one of the first to receive the news at Sandringham House, where she is staying with the king and his consort. The little princess is sixth in line of succession and is reckoned eighth lady of the land. In spite of the holidays, the demon fire carries on his business as usual. He visits the premises of a fine art publisher's at Banner Street, where several floors are destroyed. It's just one of nearly a hundred calls, 28 of them false alarms, which London firemen answered during the busiest holiday period on record. And to blazes with the hoaxers. In the centre of Berlin, fire breaks out in a new section of the Underground Railway. Flames and smoke burst from holes in the roadway like prisoners seeking escape. And ministers Goering and Goebbels are on the spot with half Berlin to watch a fire drama in the heart of a great city. Now that winter is supposed to be here, how about a nice spot of horse racing in the sunshine? The Metropolitan Handicap is South Africa's equivalent of our Ascot, with a lot of pretty frocks, one or two nice horses, plenty of green grass, pretty trees, and above all, brilliant sunshine. In fact, quite a winter appetizer. Round the bend into the straight, a horse named Moonlight takes the lead. Though what Moonlight's doing while the sun's out, we don't really know. Anyway, Moonlight wins. Some of those frocks will have to go back to where they came from. The scene is the River Seine on Christmas morning. And into the Seine drop a dozen insane, or perhaps you'd rather call them hardy, swimmers for the annual race to the opposite bank. The river here is just about as wide as the Thames at London Bridge. And there's also a nasty current to make things worse but they all get across, and the winner gets the bank for a prize. I always used to think that foam was something that only existed inside glasses, for the special benefit of tired workers at the end of long days. But now foam serves a lot of other purposes as well. For instance, when they have a fire in Sweden, foam comes to the rescue. Something new in the way of hunting. No fox, no hounds, but lots of children. All members of the South Northumberland Pony Club are out for their first lesson in how it's done. When they move off, instead of picking up the scent, they follow a trail of sawdust, laid across the sort of country that the fox would take. And after a good two and a half mile point, Yes, I thought so. And then it's home to tall tales by the fire. 